welcome to Iowa part two. We are past Chicago and uh, yeah, on our way. A little over, well, a little less than halfway. We've got a secret weapon for this this time. We got my buddy Joe and uh, we got a boat. So we're gonna actually head down river and hit those down river spots. It sounds like there's a lot of pressure on the other pieces and um, I think getting down river is going to get us on some unpressured deer and probably some concentrated deer being pushed from the pressure. So that's the that's the goal anyway. The rut should be in pretty much full swing, swing probably pr just prior to lockdown. That's kind of what we're thinking. So stay tuned. All right, so these are our digs for the next week. Joe's testing out the couch. It's time for a nap. It's been a long morning for him. Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, we got the bar, pool table, big old sailfish, deck with the fire pit out there, and we can actually grill. So yeah, big screen TV, Michigan game going, bar, bathroom, with the, check this out, rain shower. This is way too fancy to be deer camp. <laughs> so did they uh, mention that it's Iowa Part 2? Got a sweet place to stay. The weather is going to be absolutely beautiful all week long. We're talking mostly sunny, partly sunny. Beginning of the week, high in the 40s. By the end of the week, high in the 30s, maybe upper 20s. Um, just going to be gorgeous. Got Joe sitting on the alfalfa stand tonight. Cody's in Cody's corner. Um, and I am backside here by the CRP field. Um, we put a camera up in Cody's corner in here a month ago when we were here. And lo and behold, they're still here. So we're going to we're gonna pull those cameras tonight um, and see what's been walking through over the past 30 days. He's got a buck just over the ridge there. Somewhere over there. Decent one, but uh, he actually pulled up on it and um, didn't shoot it. Here we go. Down river spot. This is what we've been waiting for for three years. <laughs> Makes the dream work. through here. Joe's up on the ridge over that way. Um, we got a huge rub uh, right down over there. Feeling pretty good. It is two o'clock. So we're in pretty good, in pretty good shape. Oh, that's a beautiful buck. That was 
fun. Huge hit point. Um, probably easily 130. That was just a gorgeous hit point. Um, totally relaxed. I mean, we got an hour and a half, two hours left on it. And he was just walking around feeding. Looked like he was going to cross the river. We called. We thought we were going to get him to come back, but uh, he just ended up walking. Then the wind shifted, and um, yeah, he kind of started heading the other way. But I think this was Onyx help because um, he wasn't alarmed. He like trotted a little bit, and then he went back to feeding and uh, headed off. So we still got a long ways to go. some ever calm um, right by it and we're hoping that something comes off these ridges sees it we have it facing this direction because we're thinking that it'll try to circle around and get in front of it which will give Cody a slam dunk shot right down there so that is the plan all right we are relocating you're gonna get above the ridge on top of the ridge. Get away from those swirling winds. Yeah. Alright, here's our new setup. We uh, came way up high on a ridge um, up from the river. Fingers and draws going down there. The edge of um, the state land right here, and then it cuts down to this field. It's all private. Joe's been seeing them cross over here. They're coming right up that draw right there. But uh, we've got a heavy trail. Um, this tree goes right across the fence. There's a heavy trail for them to jump over there. Honestly, based on what Joe has seen, we think they're just going to be either going up and down these draws or they're going to be traveling along the top here. Um, he's seen rutting activity this morning, all small bucks. Um, so we're hoping maybe tonight the big ones will be on their feet. I think we're ready. Just smoked a big one. He did? Yeah. Joe just smoked a big one. Watch. 
Kitchener. has been good to me. I just uh, tagged out in Iowa, smoked double lunged a uh, uh, big doe, and so we backed out. She uh, died within sight, but uh, we backed out. Figured we didn't want to booger it up for Cody, so came down. We're just going to hang out here for an hour, and then we'll go pick up Cody, and then we'll go get the doe. So, celebratory beer. And now Cody just needs to get it done. He's got uh, three more days, so hopefully it'd be nice if we do it tonight. Oops, somebody had a little accident. Turned right on the rub, old rub tree. And there she is. Tagged out in Iowa. It's probably like a 12 foot high wall. I don't know if see that. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's going to take you right out. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. <laughs> so we're not doing all that sand. Well, the, it's just going to be on that one side. Yeah, well, when we get back. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. This is cool shit, baby. Boat ride here, number two.
Aí. These are the hills we're dealing with. destination hunt in Iowa and we are gonna go down and we are gonna help him recover that thing. Three for three! Three for three! three, for three. No. three. <laughs> seven eagles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. two behind us. Eight eagles. Drag it down by yourself? What the hell? I'm 50 and I did. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Here, son. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> there is nobody that deserves this more than you. Dude, where's my love? Nobody. <laughs> All right, story. I freaking smoked them. So I was just sitting there. Was, I think it was 3.30, um, and I heard a doe blow. And, I'm like, and they were in front of me on the other side of the field in the private. I'm like, well, my wind's going behind me, so they're obviously going to smell me. All of a sudden, I see a doe come running right the top of the field about 150 yards away. And here comes another deer, and then another deer up after that, and they come right down that finger that's in front of me. And they cut that trail, that trail that's that goes right up there. There we are, I know. Those two does run right up. The one doe gets here, the other doe gets here. The buck, I see him as he comes. So I grab my bow, I pull back, and he gets he gets in, and then he starts angling away. He doesn't follow <coughs> the does back. And so I didn't even have time to range, and he got to a point. I'm like, I'm just gonna shoot. And I was like, that looks like 30. Just it right in the shoulder i mean he didn't go 60 yards he runs to the top of this finger looks back <laughs> i mean just the picture perfect <laughs> picture perfect yes that is so awesome but yeah i, can't, I couldn't find the arrow for some reason I who think. cares i know but it was just like i'd like complete pass through com i'm pretty sure it was complete pass through right right he was just bleeding like a stuck pig you, yeah you lunged him it looked like by the blood oh yeah they yeah pink blood and just blood everywhere. frothy yeah he yes. didn't even do the sailor just like mine he just fell over he just fell over that's so awesome <laughs> <laughs> we came in a little hot <laughs> look at the boat oh, yeah <laughs> you gotta show a picture of the boat. yeah well we don't have to pull the boat on shore because I think Joe did a good job running it up there today. <laughs> so yeah, one gut pile from Joe. <laughs> and this is the treacherous trail. Bring it over and see it. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Completely covered. Yeah. No rage. Rage in the cage. That's my boy. Ooh. Paid his dues. We'll get that. So that Did you leave those up there? slanted tree is where he was. The buck was right here, and uh, yeah, you can see we got blood. Alright, let's go. How long did... Um, yeah, there's a little bit of blood in here. <clears throat> um, yeah, just a little bit of blood. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. He threw. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at all that pink frothy blood. Carnage. Oh, look at all that. Yeah. Did he stop here or he's still running? Stop right here and you're looking back. Go get him, man. Let's see it. We gotta go drag him on the end of the river. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Count them up, man. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Iowa public nine. Nice. <laughs> you got to stop the heart too, bro. You got all the veins going good at least. Oh my gosh, is that that's that's entry? That's right entry. There. Right in the pack, right in the pocket. Yep. He nailed it. <laughs> he nailed it. Good man. He's got everything. Yeah. That is awesome. He could be offspring of mine. We got a beautiful sunset. Plenty of time for pictures. Cody, have the beer. <laughs> Antlerless or is it the AWD? AWD. Okay. Yeah, right? You would think that would be antlered. Yeah. So what knife is that, Cody? This is uh, my grandpa Cuckoo's knife. Yeah. And uh, he gave that to you. He passed away from what? Yeah. Pain There it is. We're going to do Yo, the, dirty point the official score. Joe says 122. Cody says 121. And I say 124. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to score that one even though it's not an inch. No, it's not quite. So what was the official score there, Code? 120 and 1 8. Alright. So I set a goal for the week, 120 or better. And so you hit it. I hit it. Yep. There it is. Take nice. It was this place uh, great accommodations, you know, for deer camp, just <laughs> top of the line. Um, but uh, one of the most invaluable parts of it has been this barn right here because uh, we could store all our equipment in here and more importantly hang some deer we got a few carcass there carcasses there we got to dispose of and uh, Cody's working on his first cape job so this uh, barn has just been phenomenal key part of the trip